previously on Danganronpa V3. Maybe Maki in her room, chilling with who knows what, cause she won't let any of us know what's inside her room. Remember that, Chiwichi? Huh? Is that even go over there? <laughs> It'd be weird if someone died while I was gone and while you guys were getting beset by bugs. Wouldn't that be weird? I think that would be very weird. And now... What up, David here with some more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. This is... Well, a spoiler alert. 3, 2, 1, are you gone? Good, because a murder just happened. And this murder is the murder of Ryoma. Unfortunate, but I'm just more pissed that I'm not sure who could have done this one, you know? But I'm sure there's evidence in everything that happened up to this point. Last episode, there were some weird bug shenanigans going on, and a lot of people were missing. So, investigation is going to be underway in this episode, so... As soon as we get through this dialogue, it's magic. there's no trick the underwater escape because it was my magic. Click. <laughs> How long is that donkey lived midget gonna keep saying that? Also, let me do this thing. Right, left, right, left, left. It helps me sync up the audio. <laughs> um, Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see that we need your help. Cut it out. Yeah, my answer won't change no matter what you say. Because I'm a mate. There's no trick to my magic, because it's magic. Seriously? How long Come are you going to keep that bullshit up? Hey, listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're... Cut it out already! That's enough! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. <sighs> ah! I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Mm. That's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if... To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. Yeah, she's not gonna reveal her secret, even though, like... I guess a good magician never reveals their blah blah blah, but still also this is kind of very suspicious. Investigation is to save all our lives, because risking our lives under the... <sighs> it had to have been Angie. Hmm... Had to have been Angie. I already, like, I'm ex I'm really excited if it is Angie because I really want to see her execution because I know Atua's gonna show up. Shuichi. And ferry her away. Hey, Shuichi, you got a sec? Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? I mean... Before you start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. All right. You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. That's a good quality to have for investigation. Listen up. But the only stage fit for Kaito and Momoto, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But, but I don't know how to, don't to do a sidekick. It. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls, so you just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? Well, you know, last time I was someone's sidekick, uh, she played the piano. I mean... So... Leave it to me! I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Huh? Got it. Alright, let's get started. We gotta check the Monokuma file. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Had to make me a sidekick. Like this? Could be. I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. Can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! What's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Oh, Kaito! I hope he makes it to the end. I really do. Uh, okay. He's got a cool design, too, just objectively. In Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. He wanted to die, honestly. Body was discovered in the gym. Seemed like he was pretty much dead already. He wasn't struggling, gasping for breath at all. Oh yeah, it'll say cause of death. Was he dead already? <sighs> the cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. Yeah, I'm not worried about the injuries post-mortem. Uh, post-mortem. I'm more concerned about how he ended up cuffed and drowned. Who's got cuffs? I mean, Mew, obviously, but I doubt it. Uh, no other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Come on, man. What? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. 
Time of death isn't written here. Why? Would that be too obvious? Remember, previous Monokuma file indicated Rintaro's time of death, correct? Yeah. Talk to the talent is, yeah. So, what usually happens is if there's m information missing from the Monokuma file, it's missing because knowing it would make it too obvious who the murderer is. Victim is subjected to the Blanche Uh-huh. But... Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, intentional. Monokuma told us he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. So the time would directly reveal the culprit? That alone might narrow it down enough. Because we know where we all were during a certain time. We don't know where a certain set of other people were. But it opens up a lot of possibilities. The problem is Ryoma wasn't around during the bug incident, so he could have drowned any time between then. If... Okay, Angie was with the bugs, so there's no way she could have drowned Ryoma or Himiko. But then again, it also could have happened the night before. Which means anyone, again, could have done it, so... This is... Okay, maybe it's not. But... Thinking about it that way... It implies the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. Here's the thing. If it said the time of death, it would automatically implicate... Yeah. If it said the time of death... Okay, here's my logic right now. Just by this information, it's probably someone not... in the it's probably someone who wasn't at the bug event because think about it if they listed the time of death and it made it obvious either yeah it would make it obvious monokuma wouldn't list the time of death because if it was during the window where the bug event was happening then we would know very clearly that it's it narrows the pool down way too much so, by not omitting- by omitting that information and not even making it a consideration, knowing that we would know that having that information would lead us to deduce that it was someone not in the bug event, he omitted it, which means it probably happened during the night before- I know I'm overthinking this- happened the night before- yeah, it probably happened the night before, but he's just doing it to fuck with people. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if what I just said made sense. I think I just talked myself in a circle, so... <laughs> ah. So that means, key to this case is the time of death. Well done! There you go! I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. We almost cause of death. Yeah. The piranhas didn't kill him, he was li He was just chilling. It says Johnny, but if that's the case, you might be able to unravel the case from there. Yeah, exactly. He's probably already... We, all we need to know is how the trick is executed, and we can pretty much work it from there. Um, all right. It's really fucking annoying that Himiko's that cagey to not reveal the trick. Unless she knows it would reveal the culprit. Right now, Angie's my prime suspect. Is there any way it could have been Tenko? I don't think so. I'm gonna start on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. Yeah. Pretty commanding, as expected. Alright, uh. This problem is I don't want people to disappear, so I feel like I need to talk to everyone first. Alright, let's start with my girlfriend. Hey! Hey, Flemwa, there's something I need you to tell me. It's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. You know! It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night. <laughs> what was that all about? I was running around, so I had no clue what happened. Got it. Oh yeah, me tell me too. I was also running, so I didn't know what went on. How did you escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. The Void! Why you? Chop chop, you slimy shit. Uh, um... I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to ca get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Smoogie, Tenko, and I. 
Himiko and Angie were brought in later. Huh? In the gym, right? Okay. Exactly, and Kikichi left the room after around 9 p.m. Is it gonna be that fucking obvious that it's going to be, if we find out the time that he died, it's gonna be in the window that Kokichi left? Which means Kokichi's obviously a red herring. He must have been brought about five minutes before that. If I remember correctly. They're all forced to participate in Gonta's meet and second meet and greet. And I am also failing away that Maki is not being involved in this one, but was in the last one, so. That's also suspicious for her. It's too many people are suspicious. We were feed about an hour into nighttime around 11 p.m. I see. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Everyone there had an alibi. Unless they did it the night before. The people without an alibi are me, Kurumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> see what you learn what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. Easily could have been Ryoma himself, too. He's been kind of a downer this entire time. And has teased his own death multiple times. Wait, what? See, you learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident, but what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? Why? By the way, Mew, how were you able to get away from Gonta? <laughs> what? Um, well, uh, well... Um, I uh, had to use my secret woman weapon. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, I know. You gave me your 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 delicates the night before or the day of. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> Wait. Oh, hey, what's a secret? Shuichi. <laughs> She's trying to laugh it off. Come on, man. Shuichi, let's just leave her be. Listening to her will just tire you out. You're right. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. I don't want to know! Yeah, we know about the <laughs> insect meat and greed. That's a bullet. I'm gonna shoot that shit into someone's words. Hi. I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. All right. It's time to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. Oh, sorry. Here I come! Yeah, it's more like that. How can this be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. He was dead already. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? <sighs> when Piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into the tank, then Gonta could help Ryoma. But Gonta got Sierra too. He didn't get viciously dead. Well, I mean, drowning's kind of vicious, too. Gonta, idiot! Sorry, Gonta, really sorry. Come on, man. Man shouldn't apologize so easily. Oh, I think by my argument that I talked myself in a circle before, I guess then, yeah. It would be someone that wasn't at the meet and greet. Because if Monokuma listed the time, then it would make it obvious, so it had to have been someone who wasn't at the meet and greet, because no other time frame would have mattered. Unless he's thinking two steps ahead, and then the time really doesn't matter. And he's just making this prolonged trial, which is a very Monokuma thing to do. That's what I was getting at. He might just be thinking two steps ahead, and it really doesn't have to anything to do with that time frame. And it just happened the night before. Who knows? Uh, Ryoma could have easily done it himself. Kokichi could have talked him into it, actually. Yeah. Kokichi totally could have talked him into it. Um, even if he jumped in, they would have eaten yet too. That's true. From what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved him anyway, Gonta. Huh? Really? Does it say that in Monokuma you know, file? You haven't even read the file yet? Gonta, not smart. I don't really understand it. Gonta, not smart enough to be a help. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he couldn't read. Wait, no, he's an entomologist. He has to be able to read. He has got insect bugs. Of What are you talking about? If you got time to apologize, you got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. Some information only you know, after all. Huh? Information only Gonta know? Remember. Remember, during the show when you went up on stage? That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm. Yeah, cause Gonta worry about Himiko. Could it be- Could you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No, Gonta see no one in the tank. <gasps> no one in the tank. Gonta kinda surprised.
Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of this. We're going to do nothing, Himiko. Get eat. Where did Himiko pop out of after the trick? Did she pop out from under the gym or above the gym? That's important. Huh. But you know. The piranhas were. Piranhas. Piranhas were dropped in the curtains open. Ryoma was in the um, tank, right? Yeah, that right. So. Yeah. When did Ryoma get in there? Do you even see it happen? Was it a. Yeah, was it like a mechanism or something? Oh, don't, just... don't know. Everyone see Ryoma and Tank when Piranhas drop in after the. Oh. Sorry! Go to Shadow Watch Tank. So then it would make one guess that Ryoma was in the tank with the Piranhas, but then the question is why didn't they eat him then? Very weird. Unless the piranhas are robots. Or they're Atua piranhas. I don't know. Dumbass. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um, yeah, you're right. You know. Uh, but this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the Underwear Escape Act, how did we come again to tank? Is that part of Himiko's trick? My theory right now is that he was in the tank with the piranhas, but that'd be weird because why didn't they eat him then? Right? Positive that mystery will be an important point in this case. Yeah. It will be. Yeah, that's useful. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta... I hope nobody leaves because I just really need to examine all this. Should investigate the stage. I'm sure there's a clue there. Hmm. So the stairs kind of lead up to it. Also, uh, I haven't forgotten some things. I know this window, I want to say it leads to the other area with the pool. So that could be a, a big deal too. Um, We'll, we'll see more about that later. And this window is covered, yeah. It's a close- Oh, it's even a part of the thing! It's a closed curtain! That tells me... Could have been Kurumi, because I believe Kurumi helped decorate. Angie also definitely decorated. Piranha hmm. Tank. When I stood on stage and looked up, the Piranha Tank was directly overhead. Set up so the bottom would open when the timer reached zero. Bottom's open now and the tank's empty. Doesn't look like it has a lid, I can see the ceiling straight through. And the front side is glass, the other side's made of wood. So the prawn tank had no lid, and the only front was made of glass. Only the front. Uh-huh. Hey, so the tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ah! Hey, though, you helped carry supplies from the show, right? Got it. Yep, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work. But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know, it was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. Was he already in there? That is. Seems this is where the lighting batten for the gym is attached. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. Ah! Oh. But, but ten? Oh. Uh, Karumi. Control panel on the sides of the stage, allow you to raise and lower the baton. Man, even to this day I'm still learning vocabulary from video games. It's kind of awesome. Seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, and then raised it again. Hmm. Their new lighting battens were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. That is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it was probably quite sturdy. So I'm assuming when it comes to light that he... why it was so heavy, him being in it could have been poss... poss part of it. It's probably when I'm gonna use that bullet. Curtain covering it, but there's a window on the other side. Yeah, you know, this is a huge deal. What's the matter? 
You want to check out window out? Okay. Who put this curtain up? That I would like to know. Who had to reach up, huh? Not if you're on top of the tank. It's heavy. It's sturdy. Pretty high, even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's right. There is a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. Kaito headed off the stage. He turned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage on his shoulder. Hey, so... You know, shouldn't Psychic be the one bringing the ladder? This is why I should have talked to Kaido before he came up here with me. Thank you. As uh, when we were all out in the gymnasium. Yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. Oh, whoops. Uh, I have to say... Oh, yeah, that's good. Setting the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed onto the runs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open. Okay. If the window's open, oh, does that yeah. mean the culprit used it? Oh, good. Okay. The window is open. Which would mean... Someone pushed him when the timer went down. Who wasn't there? I know, but if he died by drowning. Ha! He was drowned in the pool. And then his body was kicked out of this window when the timer went down. Got that. Who did it? Someone not at the gymnasium, which could have been. Kokichi, Kaito, Mew? Kichi Kaito Mew. Yeah. I still think Angie could have done something. Because she was very much in charge of a lot of this. Or Himiko. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's Himiko. But they would make it so obvious that it's her that they wouldn't be her. And then if they're playing three steps ahead, then it would be her, so we'll see. This is what happens when you're playing the third Danganronpa game. I'm triple thinking everything. So what's on the other may side have gone of the window? the window. So could have the victim. What's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. Yes. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. You've seen it, or at least seen it. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. That's gonna be important to check out that room. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. Hmm. Distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. Scratched by something, you say? Hmm. Marked window frame. It doesn't look like signs of a struggle. I mean, this window is way above the pool area, so it's likely that whoever dropped uh, Ryoma had him like kind of like leveraged up. So, like, let's say Ryoma was dangling by the curtain, and like maybe there was like a metal cord or something wrapped around that bar, or that banister, or whatever you want to call that pane, or the frame, the frame. Uh, and then it was all the way down to the ground level of the pool room, so that they could just cut it and then let him drop when the timer ran out. That would make sense. And because the window's open, they could hear the timer. Possible. Which. Makes Himiko more of a suspect because she probably. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Because she could have. I don't know. Actually, well, we'll find out the, the magic of how she got out of the pool later. But right now, what I think. Uh, not pool, uh, the tank. She might have gotten out of the tank through the wall and then ended up in the pool room. Actually, is the is the gym a level down? Because then it's also possible that up there is the ground level. No, no, because I think it was up high. But it'd be funny if the tank was adjacent to the pool. You know what I mean? Like, if the tank 
if the, if this was a floor below the pool area and the tank is flush against the wall connected to like where the pool would be and then the water can just kind of free flow then Himiko could just swim down and under that'd be cool I don't think that's the case because I think I don't think it's like this it could be and if it is then what I say stands but I think they're on the same level I need to double check where the window is Oh wait, I think I'm right, just judging by what I'm seeing from the pool room there. Oh shoot, I missed that dialogue, why am I- uh, I climbed from the ladder down the stage, okay. Then investigate the window, then I'll put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great, thank you Kaito. I hope you're okay with me taking the time to explain my thought process as the investigation's going on. This is the first one where, uh, I'm not immediately suspect of anyone. Well, I mean, I am, but it's it's not as... Like, in the, in the first trial, I was pretty much... It was either Kaede or Shuichi at a certain point, you know? Jeez. Shouldn't Psychic be doing this? He complained, but still put the ladder back for me. <laughs> I've investigated everything I wanted to on the stage. Well done, let's okay. go. Yeah, okay. No! You're not done. Karumi! <laughs> He's back. What's up? Hey! You were helping set up the show, right? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner in. <gasps> huh. The curtains, huh? Good. So I do not know the details of her trick. Wait, sewing the curtains? As in creating them or putting them up as well? Well, I see. She might have just been busy. She might have just been doing things. I hope that's the case because uh, I like her. Anything about the timer? This is the timer that was counting down. I didn't realize it. It was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Yeah. The ladder? There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. Oh, I didn't get a truth bullet for that, so I guess the ladder doesn't matter. How's everybody else? However, Never would imagine such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Do they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. That means the culprit knew of Himiko's magic trick and made use of it, yes? That's true, did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? That would be the one who believes in Atua or Tenka? Well then. Since the show is used, we must investigate the trick as well. It would be a lot easier if she just told us, but... Kyo murmured almost to himself and walked to the back of the stage. Anything to investigate backstage? Um, follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. Yeah, worth doing. So what would happen if I went backstage without Corikio? Rope? Gotta love it. Pretty long rope. What was this used for? I estimate it's roughly 65 feet in length. Okay, that was hoisted over to hang, hang Ryoma along, uh, with the piranhas. Huh? You can tell just by looking but at of it. Course. I'm well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. Okay. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the, uh, of the village all begged me to stay. Oh, yeah, I bet. I found that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this. Hey! Bondage is kinky. You just ask Mew. I bet she's into it. Actually, we know that. Hot wax, right? Anyway, what's this rope? Uh, but we're related to, Yeah, very important. Puddle. There's a puddle behind the staircase. Okay, so there's a door. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here doing some... Yeah, that's, that's true. Easy. Changing wet clothes? But... How would you get from the water tank to the space behind the staircase? Could it be 
Maybe a vital clue, yeah. This is easy, come on. So, uh, clearly the tank is connected to the, s the area under the staircase. There must be like a little door or panel or something where she was able to uh, come out through here, the wall of this, this little lateral wall of the staircase and do her thing. So that's cool. That's how she got out. Great. And there's a curtain concealing that very mechanism. So perfect. Uh, great. That's cute. The trick is great. Um, this looks like a fake door or wall, just saying. There's nothing strange about it from behind. Other than this large size, it's a normal tank. All sides seem to be made of a special type of glass to see no hidden doors. Very suspicious. I wonder, how did Himiko escape from the- THE STAIRCASE! That's Come right. on! Figure it out easily, it wouldn't be like a magic right. trick. If you figure out the route Himiko took, we discover how Ryama got in there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if Ryoma dropped? Could it have been rigged that... Okay, so clearly there's a, a door in the staircase and these guys are too dense to figure that out right now. Uh, if that's the case, did Himiko actually have the rope? Or someone. So at this point, it must have been here we go. Um, I, I don't know. We'll see. The rope was attached to Ryoma in this location. It went up over the bar and then down into the pool where Ryoma's drowning body was. And then she just did like a little thing for, to like make it fly up and over and then threw him in there. Like, that'd be weird. I think him dropping from up here makes more sense. Oh wait, yeah, no, 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 he had to have dropped here with the piranhas. Yeah. Had to have been the case. Easy enough, right? God, this is bothering me now. Stair go case goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see there's some places on the side or what? We have something to do with the puddle next to it. Oh my god, Shuichi! Investigate everything to do with the stage. But I still don't know how the trick was. Is he dense? They're hinges! Hey, so. How long are you gonna investigate here? We still gotta find the culprit, you know? There are hinges, it clearly opens from the inside. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. Kaito! Wait, Kaito! Now, now I'm suspicious about Kaito. You know why. Did he want to pull us away before we figured that out? Large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. You guys really need to break the glass. Everything's soaked now. But if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. There's a glass pane. It's taking way too long, just an empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. There's a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. Maybe you clear around here. I should take Got a closer it. look. Uh, broke the glass. There isn't much of anything left. Thank you. Wait. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Damn it! I wanted to talk to Himiko first. Fuck. Uh. I think there's still... Okay. Uh, because we broke the glass, there isn't much anything left in the tank, but I should investigate. Yeah. Obviously that. Bucket. Bucket full of piranhas. Gonto said he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. Can't believe Gonto would do that with his bare hands. Oh wait, yes I can. But I think that Ryoma is inside their stomachs. I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider that in the first place? Yeah, piranhas are small. <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that Atu has created. Men. The least we can do is create for Ryoma's soul so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Come on, man. Can he really go in there looking like this? But, but... But the, those piranhas were sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos, too. Videos? Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed the right as the show started. What a surprise! I feel like there are more pir piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. 
No. More piranhas? Ah. Wait, did they multiply overnight? There's no way they can reproduce that fast. But, but... Compared to yesterday, the piranhas looked super crammed into that tank. Really? So they look more crammed together. Dear, dear. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many piranhas there were. Oh my! Anyway, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a surprise! Super, 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 super crammed. <sighs> Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. Hmm. Crammed piranhas. <laughs> Is the name of my next album. Alright. That glass panel is pretty suspicious, too. Yuma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now, not even a shadow of what he was. What the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe uh, it. Okay. I'm certain. Oh, if I didn't see it, the Remember. moment it happened. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. Saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Damn. Can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well, well, he didn't die that way. He just kind of got disposed of. Water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But the skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to go and actually do it. No. No, I don't think that's right. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us who wanted to live. Huh? What do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have that reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> and he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something like simple like good food or your friends? Damn, Damn it, that idiot! <sighs> Ryoma's belongings. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. Ah! Say, if we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Hmm? What's in his room to investigate? Remember. The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Oh. And you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. Can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Though, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point in thinking about that now. Okay, so we got that. Alright. Square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. Oh. Oh. Oh, that seals it. Actually. Because the initial bottom was made of wood, right? So Ryoma was in the tank. Glass pane was on top. Piranha. That makes sense, actually. And then it was filled with water, so yeah, could have drowned that way. Hmm. Who put him in the box? Doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. Nearly impossible for a broken water tank to produce such a perfect square piece of glass. Obviously. What exactly is this pain? Uh, what I just said. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Then again, I don't know if there's enough room for the glass pane to be over there and thus not see his body getting squished under that, but then again, a lot of stuff was happening. Handcuffs. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs? You saw him! Still locked and there's small scratches on him. Cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so... Not too hard to scratch. Must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh? What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? It's true, they weren't in the warehouse. Oh my god, they were on him. They weren't in the warehouse. Another place my hand handcuffs is. Could it be he's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. We'll check. We gotta check his room and his... Alright, 
That's all I wanted to see around the water tank. Well, I'm guessing Himiko asked Ryoma at some point for handcuffs because she needs them as well. That's it? Can't check for... Okay. Can't check for hidden doors or whatever? My magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Don't worry, everyone is smiling. No? I don't think any of us can smile right now. Um, Miko, is it alright? Are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? Yeah, that'll help a lot. We need to understand how your trick works if we're gonna solve this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. Come on, man. Still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But... I'll protect you! Hey, your time's up. The Q&A session up. Tenko, you need to get the fuck out of here. Unless you want to feel the... Oh, I don't care. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than the security at idle events. No. This is... No, stop. This is not helpful, Himiko. What was that? Mm -hmm. Get mm -hmm. get get out of my bias. Shut up. Shuichi! Whatever. Well that's just a cop-out game. Kibo. Um well, there are many unknown variables. The first thing we want to expect here is. Why did Korikio go with us back there? He didn't even say anything. When was Ryo the murder? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. Culprit knew Himiko's trick worked and took advantage to kill Ryoma. Huh. In other words, everyone watching the show isn't suspicious. But... Haito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's... No, but I'm still not suspicious, I forgot. I promised, so I was just eating breakfast. Of course! Got it, I'm not suspicious. I don't understand how the explanation is supposed to convince me. Kiba does have a point. Uh, we'll figure it out. We make Himiko's escape trick clear. Yeah. However, it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms. She won't. She likely won't tell us, no matter how we ask. We need, still need to discern the truth for ourselves. In the end, to that end, I'll investigate the backside of the stage once more. Yeah, I should have talked to you while you were here. Listen. Since the show is used for murder, we must do this. I think we're good. I think we should look at this. Yeah. Is he really not capable of seeing a door? Hey, so... I don't know. It's suspicious that he keeps taking Kaito. me away from it. No. Because clearly he's able to bring me back there. Right? Yeah. What's up? Nothing else, right? What do you have to say? Hey, so... Uh-huh. Weird. Just odd, does it, isn't it? <sighs> I guess you. Hey, degenerate male. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, Angie. Oh, that's all right. We need to ask Angie, Angie about the stage. I want to ask you questions about the stage. I... Yep, I was in charge of all the art. I even built and painted the stage. Good. That's important. Then, and do you know anything about Himika's trick? How it worked, perhaps? No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. See, I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, um... Uh, by the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. Uh, we started the prep work yesterday. Uh, lots of people helped out. Like when we started moving the heavy tank in the stairs from research. Yeah. Himiko's research. Me and Kibo helped. Tank had a pulley. Because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Karumi to sew the curtains, and I hate because I hate sewing. Thanks, be so basically, to it's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Ah. No, it's because of all of us. Was it really a success? Yeah, I was just thinking uh, that. Um. By the way, where are the piranhas? Your idea? Because. On its own, the underwater skate pack is no different from a normal magic show. So divine. But it would make the show more exciting and divine if we use piranhas. Atua has 
Oh, that's what Atua told me. Atua is very sus right now. So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um. And about the piranha tank and the timer. Those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course! Yep, yep. According to piranha tank's manual, synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the piranha tank will have been automatic. It means most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? Means we're gonna have to s investigate. Himiko's lab, Ryoma's lab, Ryoma's room. Maybe Himiko's room. Right, when we finished the prep work, we were about to take a break. Yeah. Gonta captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. Yeah. When Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. Yeah, you can't even go to the gym at nighttime. Oh, yeah, in the pool room. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. We decided to come to the gym today before a morning announcement. Thank you! Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, and I re was so relieved the set was intact. This is important. Oh, it's just... Oh, that's it. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. Unless they were in the pool room. <gasps> so, Shuichi, are you worried? Because of this confusing incident? But, but... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Yeah, uh... So right now, I'm just going with my gut. Angie could be lying. Because she's obviously not going to tell us that she was able to sneak in to the gym. At night. With the through the via the pool room, it's possible they uh, were accomplices together. It should be uh, very interesting. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about. No, no. Nothing can escape Atua's sight. Not even the culprit. <laughs> Atua is a truly divine force to be reckoned with. Angie starting to sound more and more creepy. Um. Uh, I believe we've investigated everything we need to for now. No. <laughs> Who's the culprit? Can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. But you still don't know? I never knew detective work would be such work. So where else we got investigated? That's... The pool. Yep. They're connected to the window. blah blah. blah. That's true. Then I want to go to Ryoma's room and find a Moto video he had. And then I want to investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pros Lab. I just said the handcuffs were probably found in the water tank. Yeah. Ooh. Is that everything? Oh. No, we need the, yeah, Himiko's lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So we'll have a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's going to be you doing the, all the heavy lifting here. You're right. All right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there a right way, way, or right way to respond to that? All right. Okay, did I talk? I didn't talk to Samugi. Like I thought. Himiko doesn't tell us. Could it be? What if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him? And then he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah. Or something like that. It has happened before, probably. I'm starting to understand why I didn't need to talk to her at all. Okay. I guess it's time to leave. Great. So. Now we're going to continue the investigation in the next episode. Uh, this one's going to be interesting, right? I have a feeling I'll probably be able to investigate everything unless I go on another tirade about like how this could have happened. But it looks like uh, these last two episodes are around the 50 minute mark, so I'm going to try to scale them back to something a bit shorter. Then again, once the trial starts, it'll be who knows how long, so... Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you don't miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, Phil, in the blanks for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next video. And that's this is Dave out. Peace out. Later.